Welcome back everyone, right. I'm Craven and this is Cold Steel. We are at the river on, what did I call this? The Spina By Road, where we are actually here to hunt that quest monster you see on the top of the map. But before we go there, there are two things I want to do here. One of them is of course opening that chest and fighting the monsters within. And the other thing this is like a, nice spot. a nice old fishing spot. So let's start with that. Only three? I was hoping for more, but I'll take it. Catfish? Is it a new catfish? You want one? Yes, we got it. Wow, this is a big one! It's new, it's a catfish, it gives extra points, nice. Stone brooch was uh, coughed up. But no uh, rank increase. Oh, that's too bad. Ah, but we're getting close. We still have a couple of fish left to go, but who knows? Maybe just enough to get a new rank at some point. This seems like a normal eel. I think we've had this before. What even is this? I steal two points. And another eel to back that one up. Alright. You reeled in. Maybe. What even is this? Well, so far it's beautiful. Nice. Alright, let's open up the chest as well. Watch out, guys! Go! And in between the episodes, I did fight a little bit in order to make sure we have all the equipment pieces and all the weapons. And in the process, uh, Crow maximized his Master Quartz, giving him the ability to have a 20% chance of death with crafts and arts. So yeah, that's actually really powerful, really nice. All right, let's motivate. do this! Sure, yeah. give it to me! Go! You know what, we might need a little bit of destruction. Just a little bit. I hope you're ready! Because we haven't been here long yet, so the enemies can still be a task difficult. To me. And with this, we give our group a little bit of a head start. Freeze! <laughs> Get it? Too easy. Oh, I really needed that miss. Here we go. Because I think he, they would have potentially killed me. My turn. My turn. Yeah, because every turn. fight that you do not have an advantage right. uh, on, on hard mode can be a potential <gasps> hard fight, definitely. Oh, we did it! Zeus gem. All right, intriguing. We're not gonna use it, because he's not a green user, but still. Attack and cross can cancel arts, 90% chance. So basically, almost a guaranteed impede on every move you make, no matter what. Nice. Mm, Ta-da! Yes, that should be enough. Good. Yeah, it's gonna take a bit in order to get that CP back to Machias, but I'm sure we'll be fine. And besides, uh, we still have three characters with enough CP to take down a mountain, so... Now's our chance. Let's, get Let's make our way slowly but surely towards the monster we need to defeat for our quest. Alright, let's do this! You can! Alright! Alright! Eat lead! Really, what? you don't miss on a critical throw. Right. 
Eat that. Leave it to me. My turn. They really. Ooh, Maelstrom. I do want to see it, but it's a bit expensive. Uh, here we go. Sit. Go. Oh yeah. That's the thing, we haven't uh, re-equipped all the accessories, so that's why uh, it's not hitting. We don't have our extra accuracy uh, on them yet. Is everybody okay? Alright, let's uh, go and fix that. After I destroy those boxes. This one's all ours. Here we go. As I was saying, even though I muted myself a little bit there, is that we have to be careful with these wolves because they may not be too strong, but they are very quick. So there's a very high chance right, that if you do, do watch out, you're sure, gonna get to uh, attacked right. and you lose your advantage. Freeze! <laughs> get it? Right. Right. It's my turn. Eat that. Leave it to me. Eat that. My turn. Go. All right, take it down. You That's that. Full. Let's keep moving. I did it. An A plus outcome. Oh yeah, and uh, the maelstrom that you saw in my movement, I will show it during our uh, extermination uh, request, just because that I want to like see it one. myself Careful. as well. <laughs> Woo! It was really close. I, th I did think I was going to hit that. Come on, just hit it. It doesn't okay, matter if we uh, swing it or not, Go. it's always a single advantage until we get a lot stronger than the enemy itself. All right, let's do this. Sure, All right. Leave it to me. Freeze. <laughs> get it? It's my turn. <laughs> Frozen. Yes. Beautiful. Eat that. All right, that's my sealed. Turn. Let's go. go! Damn. Can't right. imagine that being so confused. You attack your own enemies. I mean, friends. Huh. Right. Yeah. My turn. Eat lead. My turn. Huh. That's a chance. I'll take you up. You're finished. Okay, that was tough. Nice. Nicely done. Very nicely done. But yeah, as you can see, it didn't spend a long time here trying to get the money. Just enough to get what we need. That's also why we are still leveling up on this. Alright. What the hell? Would you look at that? That's definitely different. <laughs> Present mirror with stats. Beautiful. I'll take it. Don't let it intimidate you. Here we go. Okay, so we got two. So let's uh, do right, the normal stat up. Gotcha. Right. Pre prepper we have for it. All right. Mm hmm. Confused nightmare is too small. We can break them if you want to. Freeze! <laughs> Get it? Leave it to me. Damn, he actually managed to freeze him. <laughs> Nicely done, crew. Damn, that's a lot of HP. Uh, weakness against water. 
perfect for our Maelstrom test uh, cycle. Beautiful. How about this? Now. Let's yeah, yes, use everything we have. You bet. Me. Me. My turn. All right, nice. Do we want to? Yeah, I think delay would be the most advantageous for us. Gives us a little bit of extra time to do whatever the hell we want. My turn. This one's got your name on it. Hope you like it. Ha! Damn. Very powerful. It's my turn. Awesome. Yeah, and I think the water bell that I gave to uh, Elliot also helps with this. Just to get it out a lot faster. And to recover faster afterwards. I think that's also what it does. And uh, what do you have? Uh, should we just see? No, that's not uh, gonna be uh, beneficial. Mm. Arcus, activate. Yeah, a little bit extra defense doesn't hurt Here anyone, does it? Uh, let's see. Yeah, this is also one of those moves that I hope to eventually see one day, because I think this is like a very beautiful move, but extremely <laughs> expensive. So it's like a, a a safe skill, like if you are in trouble, this is the one you want to use. Heals everyone, uh, revives them and gives them regen, so yeah. Really, really, a really amazing uh, move. Mm -hmm. My turn. Arcus, activate. It's my turn. Okay. How about this? Leave it to me. This yeah, one's I still want to go with the Chaos Trigger. Just because it's such a high percentage of activating. Like it. Now. So it's really useful. Gotcha. Here we go. Mm, yes, do re-motivate. Alright, let's do this. Gotcha. Got it. Leave it to me. Especially against enemies like this, a little bit extra strength does go a long way. Oh, another powerful move. Leave it to me. This one's got your name on it. Hope you like it. I'm pretty sure right. the resist we are seeing is the uh, death that he's trying to inflict on them, that they're protected against it. Fire doesn't work that way, you know. Now's a chance. I'll take you up. <laughs> Not enough to do Maelstrom, but we do have enough to do a Cross Crusade. And our CP will use it for healing if it ever pops up. But I think we're doing pretty well so far to keeping them down on the ground. Not messing with us at all. And slowly nipping away at their HP. Till they're both almost dead. Go. Go. I'll take you up. All right. 
This one's got your name on it. Hope you like it. Now. Gotcha. No, I'm not gonna use right. burst on them, right? Seven thousand, nine thousand. Almost there. Beautiful. Go. Yeah, and of course, gotcha. when we are actually there, we're not gonna Here use. Go. Uh, any more of our CP because not it's not necessary. They can beautiful. Now, got My turn. Sir, go get him. Gotcha. Here Damn, we go. With all these criticals, I could have uh, burst it a lot finished. more. Let's keep moving. Cannon reach level five. Athos three three percent and gradual HP region when HP is low. Recover thirty percent of maximum HP five turns once per fight when below twenty percent. I'm just happy that uh, we got another one on level five. A plus outcome. <laughs> I did it. Nocturne Bell, Area L, Sleep 50%, Nightmare 30%, Steel Foes Consciousness with Silver Bells. Ooh, I would love to see that one. Wait, who am I kidding? I love uh, seeing new moves whenever we get them, no matter who it is. Alright, beautiful. So, shall we switch up this master one for a new one? Well, she's working on this one, the scepter. Mm. Recover HP through offensive arts. Hmm. Was this technically his original one? I think it was, wasn't it? So OB take this. He won't have uh, direct healing moves uh, on his skill set because they're all coming from the cannon. But he still has his uh, healing craft skills, which are, of course, extremely uh, welcoming. Yeah, let's just use this. Because, like I said, I want to max out as many quartz, master quartz as we can. So far, we're doing pretty well on that front. Lots of level fives. All right, so I guess that's it for the high road, so let's slowly make our way back to town. All right, back into town, and I feel like we've at least like one or two more um, wave points we still need to find, because there are still two locations we haven't been to yet, and one of them is Rhineford Main headquarters and the other one is of course the Roar Institute and I'm pretty sure at one of those locations we're gonna at least get a level one more because there's so many devices there I'm pretty sure there's gonna be a device there that will uh, interact with uh, the waves in the area all right and where do we give back The hunt. Yeah, I thought it was there. Hmm, so you were able to exterminate the monster on the West Highway, were you? Well done. That's some busy work off our plate. Well then, here's your reward. Don't use it all in one place. Thank you very much. Well then, you're excused. Thank you very much. Never mind a few extra mass. Because they're just basically cash. There's no way around it. That's just what it is. Alright, let's check the Reinford main company. And then we can go to the Roar Institute. And I wanted to go there last. Because that is where our main story quest is uh, going to be playing out. And I don't want to accidentally trigger it too soon until we've completed all other side quests, so that's why I want to be very thorough. Right, let's check this out.
Yeah, level three. Not too shabby. Well, the thing is, uh, all these models, they're not actually active, are they? So they shouldn't interfere with the signaling. Yeah. Could we technically go up? <laughs> no, not at... Ooh, wait, can we? Hmm, we've got our task. That's all we need from Mother now. Now, let's get back to work. <laughs> well, someone's fired up. Yeah, she wants to complete all the quests. To impress her mom, maybe a little bit. <laughs> Just to shove it in her face. Either fine by me. But yeah, since we can go up, I think that if you take a reading in one room, it should be for the entire room the exact same way. Alright, let's go to uh, the Ruhr Institute. Hmm, I'll never forget how humiliating it was losing to you, but that's why it's not gonna happen again. This time I'll be the one who beats you. <laughs> Bring it on, if you think what you, you got what it takes. Hmm, he's really into this. Yeah, he is. I wonder if it's gonna be like a side quest later on. Try to beat him at Blade. Hmm, so this is the Roar Institute of Technology. We had a request from someone here. It's a famous university and research institute. Lots of the country's brightest technicians studied here. And a lot of them get scooped up by the Reinfeldt company after graduation. Well, they offered George some pretty sweet deals to encourage him to apply after he graduates. Jellica's orbital bike was originally being researched here too. Well, I think uh, George has mentioned that before. Hmm, sounds like uh, they've got all kinds of cool stuff in development here. What are we waiting for? Let's go in. Right. Yeah, hopefully we'll find a recipe here for uh, our list, cause I think we are far away from Max. Yeah, so that's pretty good. So since this is one of our last field studies before course our festival there should definitely be at least one here somewhere in Roar so hopefully we can find that who can we interact with that nope so if you apply Asher's theorem here then it becomes this oh huh, sorry you can uh, not bother me right now I'm busy So, that was the Courageous, huh? Professor Thompson's been working on it for a while now, right? Yeah, he was even on board during its uh, maiden flight collecting more data. I'm surprised Professor Smith wasn't involved with his development, though. Hmm, not me. Some other project has been taking up all of his time lately. Apparently he was busy researching combat links or something until recently. Sounds way too complicated for me, though. Once Professor Smith starts researching something, that's it. He just tunes out the world around him. He won't be researching anything else anytime soon. Alright, let's use our item here. A intensity level 1 in the last building we check. I knew it was going to be here. Because this is one of those locations you'd definitely miss. Purely on the basis that there's a quest here to advance the story. You don't want to go in here until you complete the other quest. Sneaky. Yikes, that signal is pretty bad here. Perhaps it's because the researchers use orbital waves in their experiments. Hmm, it's hard to say for sure. <laughs> Alright, we found five different areas now. Not bad, considering we're told to stop at three. Yeah, I can't imagine we'll find any more though. Maybe you should go back and report all of these. Totally agree. So that guy, we're not going to talk to until we report this. Ah, are you a visitor? Oh, you're here to handle a request? Roto is waiting for you over to your left, but please go and speak with him. Oh, good day and welcome to the Roar Institute of Technology. Sir, but I'm afraid we can't permit visitors to go beyond this area. If you have a specific business here, though, please let me know. Classified research is being done beyond this point, so I regret to inform you that visitors are not allowed. If you have any specific business, let me know. 
Alright, well I have specific business, but I got other business that I need to take care of first. Yes. Uh, I think we need to go down. Let's use the elevators. Ah, finished your investigation, I take it? Yes, we did. We'd like to give you our report. They returned Chief Johan's orbital wave detector and gave their report on the investigation. I see. So in all, you found five different areas with a signal strength of one? Hmm. Looks like they all have low signals for different reasons too. This data would be invaluable in further future furthering our research. You've done excellent work today. I really owe you. No, not at all. <laughs> all we did was walk around town, really. But we're glad to have been of service. Uh, by the way, I couldn't help wondering when we were on our little jaunt. If we're in an area with a signal strength of 1, does that flat out mean that we won't be able to make calls on our Arcus? Nah, you still still be fine. Hmm, what's the problem then? Well, the problem is... Hmm, this has to do with the rollout of the orbital net, doesn't it? Ah, got it in one. I should have guessed you'd figure it out. Huh? For the less technically inclined, what does that mean? Well... I can't pretend to be an expert on it myself, but what we've done today has taught you that orbital waves can be unstable by virtue of being wireless, right? Plus the amount of data you can transfer wirelessly is less than you can transfer through a wired connection to begin with. As long as you're just transferring voice data through orbital waves, low signal strength isn't a huge problem. But if you're transferring more complex data, like the text of a picture file on the orbital computers at the academy, the low signal strength would pose a problem, correct? Ah, so in other words, you're trying to increase the amount of information you can transfer wirelessly. For that orbital net thing, or whatever you called it. Ah, exactly. The orbital net only just started gaining traction here in Erebonium, but the Epstein Foundation in particular is making a lot of progress with their research in the field. There is even a project on the way to connect Le Mans State and Crossbell State with a wireless network. So we can't exactly sit on our hands here. And that is where this data you've gathered comes in. I'll be sure to put it to good use. <laughs> We'd be honored if you did. Anyway, I think I've kept you uh, long enough. Here's your reward for a job well done. Ancient glyph with stats. Nice, thank you. Well then, good luck with whatever uh, you've got left. I really appreciate what you've done for me today. Oh, it was our pleasure. Keep up the good work. Still, what a wild coincidence that Thor's students ended up helping me out. This might sound like a strange question, but is Instructor Makarov doing alright these days? Well, I suppose so. He does a lot for us as an instructor. Might I ask why you're asking? Oh, it's just that he's my brother-in-law. My wife is his elder sister. Sounds like teaching at Thor is a good gig, but I still worry about him sometimes. I, I see. Oh, it is kind of weird of thinking about our instructors are actual people with lives. Well, it's good to hear that things are working out for him. He's a smart man. He was top of his class at the Institute of Technology, then went to the Imperial Institute of Science. I've always thought his current position seemed like a bit of a waste of talent. But maybe it's the best place for him after all. Yeah, see what kind of students he's producing right now. Without him, we might not have had uh, the opportunity to help you. And Makarov did say that when we get to Roar, we should see... Well, his family. So we now met them, but where's his wife? Because he did say she had a very uh, particular, <laughs> let us say, uh, attitude. <laughs> oh well, I think she was just, uh, just as clumsy as Mint is. Oh, judging by those uniforms, you're all students, aren't you? They look familiar too. Well, we're students from Thor's Military Academy. Are you Reto, who sent in a request for us? Ah, so you are the students from Thor's. Of course, of course, of course. No wonder your uniforms look so familiar. That's the academy George goes to. To be honest, 
I'm a bit uneasy about leaving this to you, but you look pretty strong, so hopefully it'll all work out. <laughs> it figures George would have connections here. Still, gonna go out on a limb and guess that if you're worrying about how well we'd clean up in a fight, hmm, must be a dangerous job. Kinda, yeah. Let me explain what I'd like for you to do. Have you heard of Professor Smith, right? The name does sound familiar, yeah. Professor G. Smith, I believe? He was one of the leading disciples of Professor Epstein, the father of Orbal Revolution. He's a really famous scholar in his own right, he followed in Epstein's footsteps, and his work has popularized uh, Orbans. Indeed, he's generally spoken of as something of a living legend. Professor Epstein also had two famous students, Professor Russell and Professor Hamilton. The names tend to crop up together quite often in the Orbal Sciences. <laughs> yeah, I thought there's a researcher out there that isn't familiar with uh, those three and their work. Hmm, besides that though, if I'm remembering right, Professor Smith also served as president of the Ruhr Institute of Technology. Hmm, you don't say. Ah, I wasn't aware of what he was doing these days. Yeah, he's continuing his research here at the Institute. He can be pretty difficult to deal with at the best of times though, so he doesn't really do public appearances these days. I gotta say, you're pretty uh, well informed. Well, is he an acquaintance of yours, Alyssa? Not as such, but he's apparently an old friend of my grandfather. It's because of the orbital technology the professor brought back to the Empire that the Reinfeldt company grew so large. At least, that's what I've been told. Ah, so that's how the Empire's uh, largest company hit the uh, big time, huh? <laughs> ah, so you're Chairman Irina's daughter, huh? Well, tech must run in Reinfurt blood. You might not know, but the professor's been involved with the development of the Arcus units and the orbital staffs too. Whoa, seriously? Well, I did have a feeling that that might be the case. The tech used in the Arcus units seems more advanced than anything I've seen in the standard issue battle ornaments made by the Foundation. Well, and it does sound like the only person who could make something like that would be the professor then. Hmm, sounds more like a wizard by the minute. <laughs> the reason I started uh, with this little history lesson is because this request comes from Professor Smith himself. I work as one of his assistants, so I put in the request on his behalf. Anyway, I feel like I'm talking your ears off, so let's move on to explaining what it is that I'd like you to do. By all means. Okay then, I want you to enter Session Iron Mine. I'm bringing back a small quantity of a minor uh, metal called Linium. Hmm, what's a minor metal? Well, it's a category of rare metal often used in technological development, but I've never heard of linium. Well, I'm not surprised, it's not especially well known, even for a minor metal. However, it's got some exciting potential applications in a new airship uh, engine that's currently in development. Hmm, that would be quite the mechanical coup. Well, kind of makes me think of the courageous. Oh, it's actually related to that, as uh, chance would have it. In addition to the Reinfeldt Company, both the Foundation and the ZCF were involved in the development of the Courageous. Our university is participating too, which has gained us access to all sorts of new technology as a result. Right now, we're working day and night to see if we can push what's possible with an airship engine. Okay, so now we know why you guys want the Linium 4. But uh, why us? Well, extremely small quantities of Linium have been extracted from one of the mine's tunnel. But a few years ago, dangerous monsters started taking up resonance, right in that exact very tunnel. In the end, it had to be sealed off before we could obtain a large enough sample to run tests on. Hmm, the story sounds familiar now that I think about it. And if the ore doesn't have any proven application, it won't be easy to get permission to access that tunnel. Then that's where we stand at present. If the professor were to petition the army, there is a possibility they'd go and secure the necessary sample. But like I said earlier, he's not the easiest man to deal with. He doesn't want to ask anyone for assistance, not even the army. Hmm, sounds like a royal pain in the ass. <laughs> well, I can't say I'm concerned about these uh, purported monsters in the mine, but if we can make a contribution to the advancements of science, we might even see Linium pop up in a textbook someday. Yeah, I think we should help him out. I do know the mine chief, so if we'll explain why we want to head into that tunnel, I'm sure he'll let us in. Oh, really? That would be a great help. Still, it's an older tunnel and I doubt it's been retrofitted with the most modern safety standards. Make sure you're really careful when you go in there. 
Of course. Precaution is the best kind of caution. <laughs> to get to the mine, we'll need to leave down through the eastern exit. On the lower level and take the mountain path north. Okay, let's get going. Yeah, let's start making our way there. Hmm, to get to the Session Iron Mine, you'll need to climb the mountain path to the north. And to get onto the mountain path, you need to go through an exit in the eastern side of the lower level of the city. Good luck finding that linium. Uh, we will, we will. Alright, so I know roughly where it is that I want us to go. Because when we were exploring the town, there was one location where we got stopped. That's over here. <laughs> it's an actual mountain path. Lots of winding roads. Let me guess, lots of enemies as well. Whoa. This mountain pass looks kind of dangerous. Well, at least it's maintained. Good grief. Nobody said anything about having to climb a mountain today. <laughs> I'm already feeling bushed. There is a freight line that goes right to the mine, right? Can we not just use that? Ah, oh, come on. We're students, not train-hopping vagabonds. Just think of it as another part of your training. Jeez, lighten up a little, you guys. Well, it looks like there's some wildlife on this path that might prove dangerous, so... Let's be careful as we go. Roger that. Yeah, I think we should be fine. We did just be the two big old monsters for one of our quests, so I think some standard little ones here should be absolutely no problem. I hope. I think. I imagine. <laughs> this one's all ours. Leave it to me. Eat less. Now. Gotcha. Go. Let's go with All standard right, motivation. I do want to see. Ooh, I Leave think it to me. I should have slept uh, at the inn first before we went. Right. Yeah. All right. Sure. See, I don't slack off all the time. Oh well, I can uh, restore the EP with items as well. Especially since the game is providing it <laughs> so willingly. Now's our chance. We can do this. Go. Hey, these seem familiar. These remind me of uh, those enemies that were flying around in the mist vault, like uh, right near. What was it? It was on the mountain where the guy was living on there, where we fought the dragon with Agit. Yeah, I think it's the same enemy, just 3D. Love it. <laughs> all right, let's do this. You bet. Yeah. All right. All right. 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 Earth and wind. Yeah. Leave it to me. Eat less. See? I don't slack off all the time. Just a little bit at a time. Alright, so we have probably a chest on top where we're going right now. And uh, for the rest, just a couple of enemies. That's fine. Yeah, I will at least uh, get to the top of this location because <laughs> it's a dead end, Now's so that's chance. probably we just for a this. chest. Let's do this. Sure, yeah. All right. All right. Freeze. <laughs> Get it? Right. Go. I do. Gotcha. My turn. Yeah, Crow <laughs> is uh, turning out to be extremely right. useful. <laughs> All right. And of course, the tips we had in the beginning of uh, <laughs> compounding those skills with the necessary orbs to increase even of that, that happening. Like, if someone has 50 seal, give them seal to give a little bit extra to enhance the chance even more. 
It's really helping me grow right now. I love it. So it's gonna be a monster chest on top. That looks like a strong one. Be careful. Yeah, strong ones are fine. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Don't turn around. Don't let yes. it intimidate you. Because this is a strong one, we know we can only get uh, a single All right, let's of it. Do this. Shoot yeah. right. My turn. Crow, if you want to be uh, helpful, kill the big one. Freeze. <laughs> get it? Or right. freeze it. I uh, accept both currencies. <laughs> what do you have? Anything works perfect. I want to test this one. Nocturne Bell. We haven't Tiny seen dice. that one yet. Nocturne Bell. It's my turn. Take that. My turn. This one's got your name on it. Hope you like it. Go get him. Gotcha. Here we go. Okay, so he's at least uh, <laughs> nightmare fueled, <laughs> so that's a good one. Uh, let's do a flash impact. There's a chance. I'll dead you up. <laughs> ah, come on. It's my turn. <laughs> my turn. Eat less. See, I don't slack off all the time. Yeah, the more statuses we can give our enemies, the better it is for us. Wow, you can see all of Ruwer spread out from here. Wow, that is you actually can, beautiful. Though the view isn't as nice as it'd be from the front. Well, to be honest, I still think this is a oh, beautiful what sight. A nice looking treasure chest. Yeah. Petrify in a chest. Good. All right. So we got this location back down. I don't think that uh, strong beast was uh, worth what he was protecting, but that's me. Because <laughs> the petrify is nice, but nowadays uh, <laughs> we got so many things. At least give some extra stats with it. Then I will be impressed. I was hoping that one of those will just uh, activate a stun, but it doesn't happen that often if you hit them from the front than when you do from the back. Let's do this. You got it. it to me. Leave it to me. Freeze. <laughs> Get it. Right. Go. Gotcha. Right. Right. Ah, oh, should have used the zero hearts, but I thought, ah, oh, he's sealed. Go. Come on, how hard can it be? And to be honest, we can use whatever move Burn we want ass. with uh, Lean seeing as with the master quartz he's using right now, he's recovering ass. as he's walking around. So he will be recovered before the next fight, anyway. EP charge two. Oh, what a nice looking treasure chest. Yes, it is. What the hell was that? Hmm, I thought it was black. Ah, did it. Clahom Solarian. Attack all, annihilates all with a beam of magical energy. Hmm, who would we give that to? Let's give it to him, just because uh, we can. It's gonna be expensive as all hell, but uh, I'm just curious to see how it looks like. Now's our chance, let's get him! 
leave it to me. Yeah, yes, we will. We will. Freeze. <laughs> Get it? My turn. The second form. Gale. Now's a chance. I'll back you up. Leave it to me. Right. Right. All right. Let's keep moving. I did it. But yeah, I think that uh, court that Reen is using right now is the perfect one if you ever need to grind, because you can just use him and his ability to wipe out the entire group. And then between fights, walk around a little bit and be recovered. You don't have a lot of uh, follow power, do you? Go. Second form, Gale. Now's our chance. I'll pick you up. Leave it to me. Mm, do we want to? Bang, bang, bang! Now! Gotcha! You're done! Leave it to me! Go! Gotcha! Piece of cake, man! Hey! <laughs> You're just gonna leave me hanging there? Right, first screen done. I'm pretty sure we're not directly into the mine yet. Are we? Uh, mountain path 2. Damn, this place is huge. Do we have more water? Well, we do have water, but I think that's a bit too far down for a fishing spot, isn't it? Yeah, and a bit too fast as well. Hmm, no, maybe up there, just before the waterfall. But that's what we need. We need more fishing spots, definitely. All right. That's the iron mine outside. You know what? I'm gonna leave it here. Yeah, next time we're gonna do this area just before the mine. And afterwards, of course, we'll do the mine and find the linium. In order to uh, advance their research into new tech for aircrafts. Which is gonna be amazing. But that's gonna be next time. Until then, I give you all a great. I wish you all a great night, morning, day, wherever you are. And if you're still here, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and be back next time as we move towards the mine to discover new technologies. See you then. Bye bye.